What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia, and today I'm filming my September 2021 empties for Scentsy. These are the things that I used up. I like to go over them with you so that you can get my opinion on them, and that might help you decide if they're going to work for you. So we're going to go into the non-wax empties first. I do have quite a few pods, so we'll get to those in a second. First, we'll talk about one of my favorite products. It's the Counter Clean, and one of my favorite scents, Sea Salt and Avocado. Now they don't make counter clean in sea salt and avocado anymore, but I have a few stocked up. And this is a really nice green spa-like scent. Really nice to pick up and wax. Mmm, I love it. And counter clean is a great product. It's used on more things than just counter. It does really well for me on stainless steel. Just use a microfiber cloth and make sure it's a brand new clean microfiber cloth. Don't clean your counters and then clean your stainless steel. Do it the other way around and you won't get streaks. So that is Counter Clean. One of my favorite products, I hope this comes out in laundry next year because this is my favorite laundry scent. It has actually surpassed Sea Salt and Avocado. It's also only a limited time release, so I'm hoping, one can hope, Fiji Flower. So I just have the laundry liquid because last month I finished up the whiffs just a little bit ahead, but I still have one more bundle of this and I love this. It's my favorite. It's the prettiest scent. My husband likes it. I like it. It's really nice. So let's talk about a scent pack. This is a bit of a womp womp. <laughs> this one did not work well for me. Apple Cherry Strudel. This one doesn't work well for me in wax. And it just didn't really have a lot of scent. It smells kind of dull. Dull. It wasn't vibrant at all. It didn't really give off much scent. So I would not pick up this scent pack again. I... I'm now starting aloe water and cucumber, so I put this in just to remind me to tell you. So that one hopefully will be finished. Maybe it will be finished in October, that series, but we'll see. I do have a family of five, so I do wash a lot of clothes. All right, for scent circles, I finished two. One was Snow Kissed Cranberry, and I think I bought this last year. Or was it in the clearance? I think it was last year. This was really light and it was a disappointment, although I do love this scent in wax. In wax, it's beautiful and I wish they wouldn't have discontinued it, but I wouldn't pick up Snow Kissed Scent Circle again. And Arctic Kiss was a pretty good cir scent circle. It, was, it still smells strong here now, but after a while I felt like it wasn't fragrance in the car and it's probably just my <laughs> damaged nose. But I would pick up Arctic Kiss. I do actually have a few in my backup. This is a really nice fresh scent. It's got a fresh air, almost like a sweet melon type of scent. All right, let's talk about oils. I finished up three. If you don't like oils, I'll try to go over this briefly, but people need to hear about oils because, you know, it's part of our scent system. So I finished up an old oil of Peach Paradise. I'll put the scent notes down here. This was a very pungent peach and I didn't really like this one. It's all right. My um, Ryan really liked it, my son, but I would not repurchase it, even if it was available. Although if he really wanted it, I, I probably would. Peppermint Everything was in the holiday three-pack bundle last year, and it's very similar to the new one we have called Peppermint Vanilla, I believe it's called. So if you're missing Peppermint Everything, pick up Peppermint and Vanilla. And this one I really did not like. I'm going to be a little bit negative here, or a lot negative. <laughs> Chamomile Violet. I finished a full big bottle and to me this is almost like finishing a brick because these take a long time to go through. So I'll put the scent notes down here but I really didn't like this. To me it smells like it smells like dirt. Dirt and flowers. No, no thanks. <laughs> I used this in my deluxe diffuser on the days I would go to work. I would put this in and just let it go so my husband would get home midday and he would enjoy it. All right, so I finished up five pods, so we'll go through these. I've been trying to work on some pods. So I finished up from the summer collection, Blue Agave and Melon. This is a really nice one. I really like this scent and I hope we see it come back. This one here was really strong out of the gate and then the pods kind of fizzled, but I really like this and I would repurchase it again. I finished up two pods in Blue Grotto. This is in the citrus category. This is available year round. And this one I took to uh, White Point Beach Lodge, which is a kind of like a resort in Liverpool, Nova Scotia. And I put just one pod in the bathroom 
And I also had graduation going in the main area. And this was overtaking graduation easily. So I had to keep the door closed. So this one I brought up, I brought to work as well. And I got three compliments out of a staff of, I think, five. <laughs> so that was pretty good. And I finished up in Ryan's room, Berry Bright. Berry Bright is not my favorite because it reminds me a little bit of Blueberry Rush. And I'm one of the people that don't really love Blueberry Rush, although most people do. So this is like a, I think it's got blue raspberry and plum, sugar plums, maybe clementine. I can't remember the notes, but I will put them down below for you. So this did okay in his room and I could actually smell this over, over wax sometimes because he would leave it turned on. What I do is I have my Scentsy go in his room and we just leave it plugged in so then it constantly runs and it doesn't do the auto shut off. So sometimes I would actually have to go over and remember to either unplug it or shut it off. So he liked it, not for me, but the next two I mixed together, it was a retired scent of sugar with a current scent of Just Breathe. And I think Andrea from Metallica Mom gave me this idea and I thought, geez, I have, I've had, I have those and I like both. <laughs> I should use those. It was really, really nice. You can still kind of smell the pods when you're, when you're analyzing them, but sometimes they just don't scent the room. So sometimes you're like, am I wasting, wasting it? I mean, if you really wanted to get your money's worth, you could put this in a, like a lingerie bag or even just sit them in, in a drawer and they'll probably gently fragrance the, their surrounding area. But anyway, this is a good one. I do really like sugar and that's coming back in wax form in January. And Just Breathe is a really nice scent. And it's funny, when I first got into Scentsy, I, I was like, ooh, that's intense. I don't think that's for me. But the more you kind of smell things and expose yourself to things, you actually come around. And I love this scent now. It's a medley of mints, and it's got some eucalyptus, and it's got a, a lemon twist. It's really nice and bright and fresh. And it's strong. These are strong pods. These are really good performers. If you're looking for a great performing pod, like nice and strong, pick up Just Breathe. Okay, so one basket is empty. That is my non-wax empties. We're gonna get into the wax. So we're gonna discuss current scents, which I have a lot of, then retired scents, then bring back my bar scents, and at the end, I'll have the results from the question of the month last month, and I have a brand new question of the month for you. So let's start. I finished up a clam of Blue Sage and Tonka. This is in the wood section. It's a new release for this year. The scent notes are Midnight Sage, Black Lavender, and Tonka Bean. This is a nice scent, but I don't get a lot from it. For me, the performance is a little bit lackluster, so I think I might have some extra from me wanting to give it another chance, but I will give it another chance, but I probably won't repurchase unless I have dramatically different results. It's a masculine scent. Kind of a bit sweet from the tonka bean, like dampens that cologne-like note, but it's like almost like a sweet cologne, fresh scent. All right, the next one is also a new release. It is cinnamon buttercream. This is in the bakery section. It's Italian buttercream, creamy mascarpone, and cinnamon cake. Yes, I don't find there's a ton of cinnamon in here because the cake note kind of takes away that there's, there's an underlying brown note in the cake note that kind of throws me off. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. So I don't find there's a lot of buttercream and there's a note in there that's a little bit sour to some people's nose. It doesn't bother me, but I have a couple more, but I won't need to repurchase any more of that. I have pumpkin cinnamon swirl, older packaging, and this one really stains the clamshells and people always get wor worked up about the clamshells. It's just like if you ate mustard or you had red wine or blueberries or you went outside and rolled in the grass, you're gonna get some stains. So certain oils will definitely stain. So this is one of them. This is fresh pumpkin, cinnamon stick, and whipped icing. And I always say, this reminds me of a pumpkin Cinnabon. I love Cinnabons. I'm not big on pumpkin, but this scent I love because it's nice and sweet. It's a great scent for a cold, gloomy day or a rainy day, and you just wanna feel cozy and warm. This is a good one to put in. So that is pumpkin cinnamon swirl. They put that in the spice category, but it's very much a bakery. So the next one is pumpkin chai. This one was a new, uh, kind of new to the catalog scent, but it was in the Harvest three pack bundle last season. This one has notes of white pumpkin, cinnamon, and chai. So I think from my memory, it's fairly spicy in the clamshell and it does translate into spiciness when you warm it. 
I also get a cornbread note with a lot of scents. These chai scents. I get it with uh, cozy chai and this one. I don't get it with cinnamon chai latte, but th those two I do. So this one is not a favorite of mine. And I will not repurchase it just for that reason. But sometimes I do have the odd customer that asks for it. So I have one of my favorites and a lot of people's favorites. This is Cider Mill. And this one here is Fresh Apples, Crushed Pumpkin, and Simmering Spices. So this is a, a very well done cider scent. It's sweet. It's got the gentle kiss of the spices, but it's very well balanced. It's tangy. It's pleasing. This is really nice. It's a pretty good performer. It's a long lasting scent at about a medium to maybe a medium plus. So from the moment by moment collection, I have down the aisle. This one is dewy greens, watery pear and pe uh, peony blossoms. It smells beautiful here. I do find it's hard to smell when you're warming it. Uh, if I could bump up the intensity of this, I would definitely pick up more of this. It reminds me of a variation, a more floral variation of aloe water and cucumber, and definitely at a much later scale. So it also reminds me a little bit of that one Ivy and Water Lily, but with a little bit more maybe perfuminess. So this is really pretty. I wish it was stronger. The next one is Spiced Ember Glow. This is a new release. This is in the spice section. Most people find it a boomer for spice. I'm like finding it very tolerable. And it's funny this year, I, I'm a fall winter type person, probably more fall. But this year, some of the cinnamon scents are kind of bugging me in terms of I find them a lot stronger than I used to. But this one, <laughs> I love it. It could be as strong as it wants and I'm gonna love it. This is smoked apple, toasted vanilla, and cinnamon embers and it is so good. This will be going in my Scentsy Club at the end of the season for sure. It's a hard one to explain. It's almost like you took like a smoky apple sweet scent and mixed it with like Pacific Sandalwood without the sandalwood. Because Pacific Sandalwood has a very sweet vanilla creamy tone and I get that tone in this. I love this. Pick it up. <laughs> it's a good one. Another new release that is getting good reviews is Graham Cracker Crunch. This is in the bakery section. This one says caramelized graham cracker, crunchy peanut butter, and creamy vanilla bean. There's not a lot of vanilla. It's mainly like that earthy note from the graham and a little bit of that nuttiness from the peanut butter. I also get like a little bit of like a mocha doodle tone in here, like a coffee undertone. I don't know if anybody else gets that, but I always smell that. But when you're warming it, it's just kind of like a kiss in the background. This is nice and strong for me. I like that one. It's definitely a repurchase, and that is Graham Cracker Crunch. All right, the next one is the controversial scent of the month. It is a roll of the dice <laughs> from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Update. My daughter said, okay, I'll just talk about this scent for a second. Blood Orange Spice. This is going in the garage right now. This has, let, let me just read you the notes of this one. We'll skip ahead. This is a discontinued scent. Has candied apple, blood orange puree, and cinnamon stick. So she said, whatever you have going in the garage right now, I hate it. And it was this one. <laughs> and I said, oh yeah, I know. And then I said, you probably didn't like the one before. She goes, no, there was a cologne one before that I kind of liked. And I'm like, you kind of liked it? <laughs> and it was roll of the dice. So I said to myself, well, it can't be. So I went and got my roll of the dice, brand new one. I brought it up to her room and I said, is this the one you, you like? And I must've had a look on my face cause she, she kind of looked scared to answer. And she was like, yeah, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> so guess where roll of the dice is gonna be going? Probably like one cube at a time in her bedroom with the door definitely closed. <laughs> so this is a super strong scent. It's, some people say it smells like body odor, with a lot of cologne on top. And it's funny, I did kind of think that, and there was a scent called Ice Hotel that I said, it felt like someone came onto the an elevator with you and they had body odor and they doused themselves with cologne. That's what Ice Hotel reminded me of. And I, I said, well, I can't use the same analogy <laughs> for this one. But this one smells a little bit like you're rolling around outside in like mossy greenery and got like a bunch of tree sap maybe got a little sweaty, and then you put a bunch of cologne on to mask it. So that's roll the dice. It won't be a repurchase, and I, if I am brave enough to open up my other clamshell, I will use it up in my daughter's room. So as I film this video, you can still get Aladdin Three Wishes. 
So the notes on this one are blueberry, sugared plum, blackberry, and sparkling cranberry. And this is very much like Blueberry Rush, which is returning in January. And it's somewhat very similar to Berry Bright. So if you like any of those scents, you would like probably like Aladdin Three Wishes. This one is a licensed bar, so it is 50 cents more per clam. Uh, performance was about medium from my memory. Jack's Obsession. This is from the Nightmare Before Christmas trio. And those particular scents you can buy individually. The Harvest Collection scents you have to purchase as a bundle. So I'm not really sure why they do it that way, but they do. So this one is Apples, Cloves, and Cinnamon. And this reminds me of Cider Mill, but with a green apple. And Cider, cider Mill would be with red, and this would be with like tart Granny Smith. But it's still sweet because it's like a cider scent. Oh, this is really, really nice. And if you made me choose between Cider Mill and Jack's Obsession, I'd probably choose this, but they're very close to one another. This is probably softer and doesn't last as long, but I don't care because it's such a good scent. All right, the next one is With Grace from the Glamorous Life, not Glamorous You, <laughs> Glamorous Life Collection. This one here is Gardenia Blossom, Pink Peony, and Soft Musk. And this was a little bit reminiscent of that scent. Is it Shut Eye from the Catching Z's? Yeah, it's pretty. I like it better once I warmed it, and I, I've contemplated getting additional bars. It was about a medium light. I put it in the bathroom, and you can walk, smell it when you go into the bathroom, but it doesn't throw too aggressively elsewhere. But I contemplated getting another bar, but I just have so much wax and I said, I probably don't need it. I'm gonna pass. So that is with Grace. All right, the next two are scents of the month. So this, as I filmed this video, it's September, the end of September. So this is September scent of the month, scary good. This one has notes of pumpkin puree, fresh cinnamon, toasted butterscotch and creamy vanilla. Now, when I first joined Scentsy, I did not like pumpkin scents and I've come around to them. I'm definitely team apple, but sometimes I'm not crazy about pumpkin. This one I'm okay with, it's just okay for me. I think I will like it more as a mixer and I definitely get like a toasted butterscotch because there's something in here that smells a little bit, I don't know if I wanna say burnt, <laughs> but something's a little bit different and the cinnamon is a little bit intense for me. It might be that the toastiness plus the cinnamon is doing something weird to my nose. But I'm actually going to warm this, I think, coming up with maybe salted caramel toffee. Perhaps I'll try that. Perhaps I'll try a uh, coffee tree, maybe graham cracker crunch. There could be lots of different things you can mix this with, cinnamon buttercream. So I might mix some more clams. It's funny, this has been doing very well with my customers locally. So scary good is scary good for them and it's just okay for me performance is about a medium like it's not as strong as i expect it to be so in my home just about a medium fairy tale pumpkin is october scent of the month this one is harvest pumpkin midnight black raspberry and black licorice i do not get any pumpkin i get like a blueberry kind of Halloween candy that like a hard candy that also has a, a note of like a black raspberry grape-ish kind of twinge. And then I also smell the smell of the spice of black licorice as I'm eating that candy. Later on, I do get a little tiny bit of the bakery notes in one area that I warmed up, but not in any other areas. So on, on performance, I would say it was about a six out of 10 in most areas I warmed it. And it would maybe be a three day or starting and stopping, or maybe you could get two full days if you had your warmers on continuously. So that is Fairy Tale Pumpkin. It's not getting great reviews. There are definitely people out there that really like it, but most people are not loving this one. So if you like this one, make sure you put it in your Scentsy Club. All right, moving on. We only have a few, because I already covered one of our retired scents already. So, Let's move on. I only have four that are retired. I have Toasted Marshmallow. This is in my Scentsy Club because it's strong. Um, some people compare this to Toast, uh, what is it, Marshmallow Fireside. To me, there's a, a malted caramel note in this that definitely differentiates it from that scent for me. I prefer Marshmallow Fireside, but this, which we don't have, <laughs> it's a Bath and Body Works scent. But this one is a fairly good performer, so I'm going to keep it in my club and 
you know, switch things up with it. And I actually mix it with another scent coming up that I'll tell you. So this one is described as, it, they imply that it's got marshmallow, smoked caramel, and vanilla bean malt. So this one's fairly strong. Most people really like that one. Another fairly strong one that most people like is Snuggle Up. This is from the Catching Z's. This is the most popular one from the Catching Z's. It has Cashmere Woods, Angel Lavender, and Sage. Well, Cashmere Woods I probably would like, but I don't like lavender and I don't really like sage, but this is a terrific scent. I love this. I hope that Sensi will bring this into the regular catalog. They may not because it is somewhat similar to Jammy Time, but it's really nice. It's a great performer. It's long lasting. Terrific. Two thumbs up, A plus. Snuggle up. Also a strong, long, fairly long lasting scent, not as long lasting as Snuggle Up, is Painted Leaves. This is a nice fall scent that is a little bit different for Scentsy because there's no spice. Scentsy tends to really like spices for their fall and winter. And I think what it is is they probably have scents that are strongly spiced that sell well, so they go with what works. But this one doesn't have any spice. The notes are blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. So it's like you're walking through the woods on a crisp fall day. Maybe it rained like the night before, the day before, and so there's a little bit of dampness to the ground, which sounds gross, but it, it's not. And you can hear crunch, crunch, crunch. Everything's crisp. You can feel the coolness of the air. You take a deep breath and you enjoy the moment. And that is Painted Leaves. That is a Scentsy Club scent for me. And last of the retired scents, I have Honey Pear Cider. This one is a shocker because it actually retired last season and did not return. But the interesting thing was they put it in the clearance. And I'm not sure what was going on there because some of the clearance had updated births. So maybe they were throwing us a bone. <laughs> All the ones that they didn't bring back, they felt bad and, and gave people a second chance. But honey pear cider has pear, sweet honey, ginger root, cinnamon, and clove. This is a beautiful scent, I love it. I find for me, it's not a, a very good performer in some of the areas I warm it in. I do have struggled performance with this one, but if I mix it with something, it seems to do a little bit better. It brings out its properties a little bit better and allows it to shine. It does really well with winter berry apple tea. I actually mix this with a little bit of Buzzworthy as well, just trying to use up some Buzzworthy. So I did pick up a couple clams and I do have some in reserve, but I wish it was a little bit stronger. I wish it was a little more, more consistent for me, but I'm still willing to fiddle around with it because I love this scent so much. It's a really nicely done, beautiful scent. Honey Bear Cider. All right, let's talk about Bring Back My Bars. I have a few Bring Back My Bars here, and it's always nice to hear about Bring Back My Bars because a lot of people put them in their club. So it's nice to know, you know, opinions. So I have Sweet Pea and Vanilla. This has sweet pea, it has raspberry, and it has uh, vanilla. I don't get a lot of vanilla. It's a very bright, fruity floral. It's a very popular fruity floral. It's, I would say medium in terms of intensity and duration for me, maybe a little longer than medium. So that is sweet pea and vanilla. I think I have a couple more. It's not a club set for me. The next one is white tea and cactus. This has clean, crisp, refreshing floral mix with green notes and pickles. <laughs> there's, I forgot to mention there's pickles in here. Pickling spice. <laughs> I get pickling spice. And the more I mention that, the more I find out other people also get that note. And if I, I find once that goes away, it's, it's a nice scent. Cause I find that's at the beginning when it's really intense. So it's almost like for me, if I put this in, I have to leave and then come back to enjoy the rest of it. This one is a beautiful scent. It's a Scentsy Club scent for me, and it's White Sands. It's night blooming jasmine, coconut milk, rice, and there's like a gentle breeze kind of note to it as well. Yes, I love this one. This was a snoozer scent for me because I was thinking it was going to be like, eh. And then you warm it, and it's one of those ones that takes your heart because you weren't expecting to love it, and you fall in love. So White Sands is in my club. I do have a bit of a stockpile, and sometimes I want to gamble and take it out because... I know at some point it's going to be voted back because it's so well loved, but then I'm like, I just don't want a chance not having it. So I'll probably keep it going. So I have Candy Crave. This is a club scent for me, but mostly because I get it for a friend of mine. This is Raspberry Sorbet Cotton Candy and Fluffy Marshmallow. And this is, this was gifted to me by Cindy. So thank you. So this one here, 
it performed a lot better this bar than some of my other experiences. So I, I don't know, but this is a pretty light performer even with the better performance. But it's one of those ones that's really pretty, it's sweet, it's girly. There's a little bit of almost like a body care-esque note to that cotton candy. It's really, really nice. I, you know, even if my friend decided she wasn't gonna get it, I might still keep this in my club to get one or two backups. So the next one is French Kiss. This one has fig, coconut pulp, cedar, and caramel. This is a long lasting scent, but it's one of those scents that kind of blends into the background and just your house kind of smells sophisticated. And I think they say it's a, it's a dupe for brown sugar and fig, which I have not smelled from Bath and Body Works. This is one that I have to be in the mood for, but when I am in the mood for it, I really enjoy it. But you can put this in, like say you had company coming over, you could probably put this in their bedroom and leave it go for a few days and not have to change it. It's one of those type of scents. So that is French kiss. The next one is Mulberry Bush. This is old packaging, probably from January of 2018 when I first was kind of right before I joined Scentsy. This is Sweet Mulberry and Orange Peels. Now I don't really like this on its own. No, it smells like, like a mulberry version of perfectly pomegranate. Like it has a little bit of a waxy undertone to me, but I did mix this with toasted marshmallow and that was a lot better for me. So I think I might have one bar left. So I will probably mix this again with toasted marshmallow. So that was really nice mixed together. And to wrap things up, I have Love Story. This is the most beautiful packaging. This one was sweaty and you can see that it almost reabsorbed in certain cubes and it didn't reabsorb in others. This is pink jasmine, amber and dark chocolate. Now I did have this in my Scentsy Club, but this is a strict bedroom set for me. It's not very strong in terms of blow you out. So I'd never put this in my open layout. I put it in rooms that are confined so I can enjoy it. It's almost like a, it reminds me a little bit of silhouette, uh, but with a floral. And maybe it's the color that's doing that, but there's something in here that's like an earthy, floral, exotic, sophisticated scent. I love it. I only wore it in my bedroom and I probably have like four bars and I might warm it in my daughter's room as well. So it's gonna take me a while to use up four bars. So I did take it out of my club. All right, so before we move on to our new question of the month, I'm gonna to talk to you about last month's question of the month. So I asked everybody, how many warmers do you guys have? And how many are you using? And boy, did I get a lot of answers. You guys were great, so thank you. And I, I did average them all up. There was a few that came in kind of late, so they may have thrown off the average just a little bit, but I had almost 80 responses come through. The average number of warmers that people own is 18, which is far less than I thought it was gonna be. And I own, I counted, 62. I am shocked. Like this was an eye opener for me. I have 62 warmers. Now in saying that, three of them aren't here yet, but they're on their way at some point. I have the NHL, Chicago Bears coming, the, or excuse me, NFL, excuse me, NHL Toronto, mini warmer, and I have the Gilded Leaves coming. But that's a lot of warmers, 62. I'm gonna have to do something. But anyway, the average number in use in people's homes was 10. And I had to uh, bump up but 10 warmers and I have far more than 10 warmers going. I probably have maybe like 18 or 16, 16 to 18, depending on the time of day. But yeah, so I'm obviously above average in both categories, <laughs> which may not be a good thing. But let's move on to this month's question of the month and it has to do with bricks. And I'm just gonna show you an old brick that a viewer of mine, Sharon, sent me. She didn't have a whole brick to send me, but this is what, she had sent me, and it cost her an arm and a leg to mail this to me, so I really appreciate it. This is called Raspberry Danish, and this is what the, the clamshells used to be square, and the bricks used to be square. And I asked my star director how old this was, and she said it's probably from 2010 or earlier, because I think when she joined, they had already um, shifted to the, the new shape of the packaging. So anyway, what I'm going to do is warm through this, and I'll, I'll let you guys know what I think of it in October but I'm really appreciative. But also we had bricks that released September 27th for early purchase for consultants. So there's five bricks and those will be available for the general public October 25th. And you can buy them singly or you can buy two different bricks or two similar bricks if you want, but two different bricks as a bundle to save. 
So what my question to you is, what is your approach for this upcoming holiday brick release? If you're a consultant, it might be different than if you're a consumer, but are you buying the bricks? Are you going to put them in your club? Are you gonna see if you can get samples? What, are, what is your approach to the bricks? I am interested to see what everyone's thinking about the bricks and if you're anticipating, you're gonna like certain ones more than others. So as always, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. Thank you for all my subscribers, a big milestone reach. So thank you so, so much. If you're new and you like hearing about Sensi content, please hit subscribe and the bell, and then you'll be notified when I post a video. Also a really big month with Sensi. I had a promotion this month. So thank you to my customers. Thank you to my teammates for helping me get to that level. I appreciate you. And as always, I'd like to wish you guys a great day in your neck of the woods. Please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.